Hey YouTube, uh, what's going on? I hope you have been liking the latest uh, fuse testing videos. Uh, hopefully it's helping people out. Uh, I'm trying to do the best I can, of course. Today's video, um, I finally got a package from Florida. <coughs> and it is supposed to be the 3 amp fuse wire. So we're going to open this up and test it. So let's get to it. Alright, let's open it up. Let's open it up. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay, well, it is supposed to be 3 amp fuse wire. Well, it looks pretty thick. Of course, I'll do all the measurements and stuff for you. But it actually feels like solder. Interesting. We'll get out the old trusty electronic digital caliper. It measures in at roughly 0.77 millimeters. Okay, I will probably test uh, at least a couple of them here. We'll go ahead and do the twisted 10 and the twisted 12, twisted 14 gauge. Might as well just test them all, right? But before I do that, um, I did make, of course, another modification to the fuse tester thingy. So here's what I'm talking about. I just made some, uh, I used some nickel uh, stripping from the old laptop batteries and made some jaws which will act as the top of a battery, I'm hoping. And it gives me a better way to secure the fuse wire to the actual alligator clip. And the second thing I added was maybe to help out if um, I turn off the lights so we can see the fuse wire glowing. We can still see the gauges. So I'm hoping that will maybe help out too. This gap is 7.08 millimeters. Contact. And of course I'm on the 3.3 volt rail to give it a try. Okay, well that didn't really work out very well. I'm going to do the 5 bolt rail. Contact. Well, that I actually just shorted it out. So far this 3 amp fuse wire is not looking so good. Okay, test number two. This uh, fuse distance is 7.16 millimeter, and this is for the six gauge wire. Contact. Okay, I didn't get to see it, but I'll look at the video, of course, to determine where it popped at. Okay, this is the 10 gauge twisted pair, and the gap is set at 7.02. Contact. Okay, I believe this pops at 20 amps. Probably can't see that, but when it pops, sometimes it creates its own extra piece. I guess that could be a good thing or a bad thing. The good thing, of course, would be that it separates the fuse at a pretty good distance. The bad could be if that fuse piece falls and shorts something else out, maybe. Okay, this is the 12 gauge twisted pair and the gap is set at 7.11 millimeters. Contact. That one again blew at 20 amps. Uh, this one did blow out its uh, piece right here to separate the fuse, I guess. It's kind of a cool feature, but who knows. Next test is the 14 gauge twisted pair. This gap is set at 7.03 millimeters. Contact. Okay. 
Okay, I did see the fuse glowing around the 19 to 20 amp, uh, but I blew the, the wire up here. So let me change that real quick. Got the wire up there changed. Now again, of course, this is the exact same wire. So I don't know if um, the previous test compromised it or not. We'll find out. Contact. So it's being pretty consistent at 20 amps. And again, you can see the fuse separation there. It would be easier to detect. That's pretty cool. Okay, this last test for today is the copper tubing. That is 6.35 millimeters in diameter. And the wall thickness is 0 0.60 millimeters. Contact. Actually, I'm going to take out one of the wires and see if that will help the test or make it worse. Because I noticed around 20 amps or so, it's down to 3 volts. So I'm going to see if a little bit more juice will help it out. Contact. Okay, that was a pretty good test. I might uh, try a couple more, we'll see. And of course you can see the fuse separation. I kind of like that option because if a fuse does pop, it'll definitely be noticeable. Okay, these next three or four tests are going to be with the, the shorter wire with less voltage drop, basically. This gap is set at 7.06. Contact. Okay, I think that was 19, and the volts were maybe around 4. Okay, uh, that previous test was the 14 gauge, and this test is the 12 gauge. Contact. Okay, I do believe that is a 19 amp pop there. Okay, next test is the 10 gauge wire, and the gap is set at 7.15 again. Contact. Okay, I believe that one popped at roughly 20 amps copper tubing, and I'm just going to try a smaller gap. This one is set at 4.03 millimeters. Contact. Okay, so a smaller gap, of course, definitely increases the amperage. So, yeah. Okay, for this test, this is the 14 gauge twisted pair, uh, 1.63 millimeter, and I doubled the gap to 14.08 millimeters, and we'll see if that, uh, of course, lowers the amp pop rate. Contact. Yes, indeed it did. Uh, that was at 11 amps, and it probably would have blown a little bit lower. This is the 12 gauge twisted pair, 2.05 millimeters with a 13.99 millimeter gap. I'm going to try something here. I'm going to add more resistance to see if I can narrow it down. Contact. Okay, doubling the gap is almost cutting it in half. Next test is the 14 gauge twisted pair, and I just Went ahead and made a huge gap since we're on that way. So this gap is 20.02 millimeters. I have to add resistance, I think. Contact. Okay, that was kind of actually cool to watch, but I don't think I would want to make the gap that big. Okay, last test. This is the 12 gauge twisted pair, and the gap is set at 19.98 millimeters. Arm tech. Okay, that popped at 11 amps. Okay, YouTube, so that was the 3 amp uh, fuse wire that I bought for $55. Uh, it's probably 3 amp at, I'm not sure which voltage yet. 
Yeah, so the longer your gap, the less amperage it'll take, of course. On one of those fuse uh, burns, you could see it kind of melted down. So that could potentially maybe start a fire or short out again. But since it's actual fuse wire, it would just pop it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of these tests so far. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you guys later. And there's my helper slash interrupter asleep on the job. Uh, what are those things called? Uh, what the fuck is that shit called? Some... Uh, maybe... Was... Arm tech. Ah! Of course! Uh, and... Now I just gotta remember which one's the solder. Let's get some soldering done here. Uh, of course, I'm getting ready to fucking do something. Come on up here and sit in your chair. Or do you want me to hang out with you for a minute?